today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. It's going to be a celeb inspired makeup tutorial. I got quite a lot of comments to do the Zendaya inspired makeup tutorial in my last celebrity inspired video. She has quite a few looks but this look I feel like she's recreated a few times. Very simple and nice and glowy and everything with a nice kind of like a corally pink lip. So I really hope you like it. Now a lot of you always ask me what I use, especially like foundations, concealers, setting powders, highlighters. So a lot of the time I use the same things over and over again, but looking at my collection, I feel like sometimes it's nice to try different things. I did try and use a few new products in this video because I have quite a lot of things I feel like I just don't use and I should use more of. And what I've started doing is kind of organizing my collection, my makeup collection, so that I'll know what I have in my collection because sometimes I go out and I buy something I already own, which happens a lot. Like a lot of us do that anyway. So I felt like if I kind of organized what I had, then I can obviously have a look at it and make sure that I don't duplicate products and stuff like that. I wanted something that's easily accessible that I can literally just go on and it has all my products on there. So there is this app called Snups. It's basically a way to organize your makeup products, even fashion items as well, into shelves. So you can have one shelf titled foundation, concealer, powder, so that at least you know. And then I can, it can also help you guys know what shade I am as well. It helps you to list the products the name, the shade, the price and where it's from so that people can see it and I can know as well for myself that what I have in my collection and it's so much easier to have to wait for a reply or a message or something you can just literally just go on the app and everything will be listed down for you so it would have pictures of everything and it would kind of give you ideas of what you want to buy if you want to try out something and at least you know what shade and what it looks like and how much it's going to be and where to get it from that kind of thing so I will list my profile in the description box. My username is Beauty by JJ1 because someone took my name, so I had to put the one at the end. I will keep updating it as I go along. Like I said as well, you can also do it for fashion items like your shoe collection and like your coats and tops and different colours so you know what you have in your wardrobe. It helps you to be more organised and you don't end up hoarding things. If you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face. I'm just looking for my primer. I'm going to use the Becca Ever Matte Pores Primer. I haven't actually used this in a while. So I'm just going to apply this to my T-zone. Right down my nose and then my T-zone area. I'm trying to stop using the Milk of Magnesia. It is pretty difficult because that product is life when it comes to controlling oil and stuff so you know I'm still on the search for a good primer so I'm gonna use this one for this video plus I'm not going anywhere so I can I can be oily indoors it gives like a grey film over your face so hopefully this helps with like all my lines and deep set under eye problems I'm using the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation mixed with the Makeup Forever HD. You should already know why I mix, but if you don't, if you are new to my channel, I mix the two because this one on its own is quite red and it leaves my face very oily. So I mix it with this because I really, this is literally my Holy Grail foundation, so I like to mix it. But the reason why I use this is because it gives full coverage without having to color correct or use any concealer or anything. So I apply this first around the dark areas of my face and then the rest of my face I would use the Makeup Forever one. So using the Damp Beauty Blender I'm going to put it around the dark areas of my face which is like around my mouth area. And then for the rest of my face I'm going to use the Makeup Forever because I don't want the entire face to be covered with the NARS one because it will definitely make my face oily. So I'm just applying that to the rest of my face. Okay, so just to get rid of like the dark areas on the sides of my eyes, I'm gonna use this concealer by LA Girl. This is in the shade Toast. Just to kind of mute it out a little bit. Mute out any discolorations around that side of my, around the areas of my eye. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion for my lids. 
she had like an orangey brown sweep of color you no know, crease area so i'm joining with my morphe brushes 35-0 palette 35-0 oh palette taking this matte orange shade with a soft crease brush i'm just going to sweep that into the crease Then I'm going to take the brown shade from the Wet n Wild Vanity palette and I'm going to sweep that across my lid. And take that into the crease. Because of my eye shape, and I feel like we both have the same eye shape. Then going over it with Max Swiss Chocolate with that same blending brush and just going over my lid colour. Going back with that brown eyeshadow, I'm just going to apply it to the outer corner just to intensify it slightly. This is the Carly Bell palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to take this shade right here I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus and apply it to the centre of the lid um, I don't think she has anything in her Looking at the picture, I don't think she has anything in her tear ducts. So I'm using that same brush that I used to apply the um, bronzy shade. I'm just going to use that as my inner tear duct colour as well. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to use Max Arena. So I'm just going to apply some mascara and then apply some lashes. The lashes I'm using are pretty old pretty old but her lashes didn't look very dramatic. I think they're the Queen Bee Lashes by Coco Lashes. You probably can't see that very well but that's what it looks like. So moving on to my under eye concealer. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher pen thing, conceal, in the shade 8 under my eye. I'm going to use a fluffy blending brush to blend it out. Just going to let it set for a little bit and then I'm going to apply my powder. I'm going to set it with the Ben 9 Topaz powder. I'm going to go over that with the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder. I'm not going to contour too much because she doesn't look like she has much of like a contour thing going on. So I'm just going to do a really quick sweep of the ABH Contour Powder in Espresso. Just to the perimeter of my, just around the perimeter of my face, just to bring back some warmth. I'm gonna set my entire face with the Mac Miller Skin Finish in Dark Deep. I'm going to contour my nose a little bit with the CoverGirl bronzer in Ebony Bronze just to shape it slightly. For my blush I am going in with La Femme's Coral Blush and just a little sweep of colour to my cheeks. And then I'm going to highlight because she has a really cool highlight going on. I'm using the Colorbell palette 
taking the gold highlight shade with a precision highlighter brush and just sweeping that from my cheekbones. It's quite a lot. I'm gonna try and blend that out. So that this highlight is very good. It's very, very pigmented. My lips, I'm lining it first with Max Cork Lip Liner. Then I'm going to use the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Double Dare. Then I added a bit of a pink lip colour. This is the Colourpop Lippy Stick in Heart On. It looks like she has a bit of gloss as well, so I'm going to use the Revlon Lip Gloss in papaya so that's it for the video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys